How do you fix a cracked pumpkin? With a pumpkin patch. I'm so not sorry about this. What is up you guys? My name is Lena and this is Life with Lena. Today I'm doing something a little bit different and thought I would share it, give it a try. Why not? And yes, I have kind of like a script of things because one, starting off, I am a fan of the podcast, My Favorite Murder. And if you haven't heard of it, I'm linking something below. There's going to be a ton of crap in the description box. Hi, we're in my kitchen. May as well cook while I'm talking about a murder. Anyway, so this is Thanksgiving themed because Thanksgiving is two days away and I am going to do a pumpkin pie. My research came up with a little bit, not a whole lot of information, but I do have the first killer in America and the first execution in America. I am actually going to butcher American history just a bit by talking about a murder that predates the pumpkin pie. Um, so history.com says that um, the first Thanksgiving or the first harvest festival or whatever you want to call it um, probably didn't have like an actual pumpkin pie like we know it. What they did instead is they took a pumpkin shell hollowed it out and added a custard to it and then basically roasted that on open ashes not over an open flame but like um coals and embers to heat it up so it was kind of like a, a custard in a pumpkin pot pumpkin shell um so uh the pumpkin pies we know it was first recorded around 1790 in a recipe book um or in an american cookbook um like i said about 1790 um and that's what gave us our pumpkin pie uh with an actual pie shell um so what we're going to be talking about is a gentleman and his family the gentleman's name is john billington john with his wifey, Eleanor, and two sons, John Jr. and Francis, all boarded the Mayflower in 1620. And they were among the first settlers of New England, Plymouth. And they were not well received. <laughs> First off, um, they weren't going to New England for the puritanical religious reasons that pretty much everybody else was. They actually were escaping creditors from England. So, um, they just did not have the same religious views as everybody else aboard the boat. So that whole family was actually considered jerks. Um, John himself was just, nobody liked him. He was mutinous aboard the Mayflower and he was just kind of rude to pretty much everybody. Um, at some point to avoid um, further mutiny or anything like that, he signed the Mayflower Mutiny Agreement or something where it basically promised that anybody would be um, following the rules on the boat, on the ship, on the Mayflower, and they were agreeing to, um, oh golly, they were agreeing to any kind of, um, what, what is it? I'm not a, a legal 
term person, and I don't think this is in my notes, but it was an agreement that they would just basically stop being buttholes or mutinizing against the Mayflower. Um, anyway, back to the family. Um, John wasn't liked, and son number two actually set off a gun next to a powder keg in a very confined space, um, a cabin, fully crowded, um, and just their attitudes, I suppose, and that action, and I really like this quote, um, the whole family was threatened to colonize the ocean floor rather than New England. Um, so they were threatened to be thrown off the boat. I didn't see any notes for anything about wife, Eleanor, um, what she was doing. I mean, why they would throw her off and son number one off the boat. Who knows? Um, so I think maybe she was living her best life, living like it was 2020, drinking wine, cussing, um, the whole family, um, were considered the most profane family among the settlers and they supported individual independence, freedom of speech, opposing the rule of governments. Hi, is that not like 2020 right now? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so, more better. Once they got to New England, um, John was drafted for military duty but he was insulting a one Mr. Captain Standish. Um, and that pretty much got him sentenced to be tied up at the neck and ankles or heels. Um, either kind of like hog tied. And uh, I mean, one would think that it's very much like Braveheart where you're hung at the neck and then hung at the feet uh, or tied and then you're just like stretched but um one of my other sources was basically he was hawk tied so he got a bad rap okay now here's the thing i only have like a paragraph or two to go so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna probably like put some music on for you while I work on this shaggy dough getting it together and it's going to chill out for a while and I'll either see you tonight later probably not because it's gonna take at least an hour for the crust to be ready I think I'm just gonna do it tomorrow so you get to watch me do this for today.
John, wife Eleanor, son John, and son Francis. Does anybody, does anybody think of Pee Wee Herman saying Francis? Francis! Stupid. Okay. Anyway, uh, that family boarded the Mayflower in 1620. They were not well liked. They were threatened to be thrown overboard because of their antics. Once they got to um, Plymouth, Massachusetts, good old John was hate speeching, was sentenced to punishment by being tied up some way and got out of it by apologizing profusely. Um, he was also blamed for some unexplained arson that destroyed uh, four houses. And he was also conspiring against the colony by being some kind of informant to some guy who was... Yeah, so all, as of right now, we've just got his character. What kind of person he was. So, see you tomorrow. I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do the pie shell. Stick it in the thingy. There's a type of pie shell that I would like to try one day. And it's cheddar cheese pie crust, I think. I think it's the Martha Stewart one. I don't know. I've just heard great things about it. Aw, farts. Flower first. Duh. I need to reorganize that bull mess. Oh, may as well keep that out. But where? Right there. That's good enough. on this one because this is my first time using this I bought a rolling pin just for you guys okay rolling it out A new day. I am in a mood. And my text machine just keeps going off. Anyway, are we ready to finish this pie? Because I am. My oven's already preheated and good. Oh, we have a pocket! Oh, I didn't realize I had a pocket. Okay, well, guess what? Dear phone.
it's gonna go there. Okay, so I left you off with the pie shell. It's right there, um, baked, and it's sat covered overnight, and we're gonna continue talking about John Millington. So yesterday, got all of his character, him and his family, bad rap. And so, we ready for this? Let me go ahead and grab the rest of my ingredients. This is gonna go by pretty quick, so ee. Oh, here's the funny thing, and you can fight me on this. Um, Josh Weissman, coming at you, bro. Your video did not include the vanilla that you have on your ingredients lists. Y'all can go back to that and double check me and tell me I'm wrong, please, thank you. Because I didn't see it. Okay, so, John Billington. Based on his character, nobody liked him. He did a whole bunch of dumb things. And then he got into an argument with some fella named John Newcomen. A little bit of backstory. John Billington was on the first set of settlers. He was in the first settlers group. And then Newcomen came later. So he actually was Newcomen. That was a fun little fact that I, that I was reading about his name versus him coming later to the America. Americas? New England? Whatever. Um, and my sources told me two different things. They had an argument about a gal. And so Billington shot him. Or um, there was a previous quarrel who knows what about, and John shot him. So, needless to say, John, for some reason, short, short, <laughs> John, for some reason, shot one Mr. Newcomen, um, either over a lady friend, which doesn't really make sense, maybe? If, um, Mr. Billington was already wifey pooed with Eleanor. Why would he be fighting somebody else over another lady? I get it. Adultery is not a new thing. I mean, hi, we had the scarlet letter. Uh, <laughs> um, there's basically nothing new under the sun. So it's definitely plausible that they were fighting over some lady. But anyway, I would like to have that all like actually sourced. So, um, over a woman or in a tavern brawl or hunting rights, like I can shoot game over here. I can shoot game over here. Don't cross my line. Very territorial, just like a lot of other animals. Um, <laughs> so, um, the, the way this goes is later new, new coming was seen leaving town and shortly after Billington was also observed to depart the town and then Mr. Newcomen's body was discovered later um, and we're left to surmise whether the murder weapon of which Governor Bradford who already didn't like John Billington writes with confidence uh, could be traced to the defendant which would be Mr. Billington so they found they found the murder weapon they found John Newcomen's dead body and they just two and two together because I don't think that there was ever really any evidence or at least I didn't see any in my uh, research that somebody came forth and said yes I saw this happen um, so, and of course, what criminal actually wants to admit their crime? Who really wants to? Especially if you knew, oh, I'm gonna get um, executed. Governor Bradford says to somebody that he can say with confidence that Mr. Billington did it, and that was Mr. Billington's 
gun that was found. Um, so we get the honor of having Mr. Billing Billington as not only the first murderer, but he was also the first to be executed. He was executed by hanging. But questions have arisen, arisen. Questions have just popped up um, that the colony was there enough lawful jurisdiction or uh, was there enough um, adequate authorities to say capital punishment for uh, Mr. Billington because you know with the colonies not a lot of people half of the folks died the first winter because of all kinds of crap um, but the governor Bradford persuaded one governor Winthrop to allow for the death sentence for Mr. Billington and I put my spoon and whisk in the dang sink. Um, yeah, buddy. I know, Memento. So, that basically wraps up Mr. Billington. He was our first murderer and he was also the first to be executed in New England, um, in the colony. And the thing that I just don't get is why they called him the Mayflower murderer, because he didn't murder anybody on the Mayflower. He'd already landed. And so did this other bloke that obviously didn't take the Mayflower here. So he could have been the Plymouth Plunderer? No, not really. Plymouth Pummeler? Oh, gosh. Who knows? And you're probably thinking, God, Lena, who cares? I don't know. Uh, all right, so let me get the Pasho. And judging by how Josh Weissman's pie looked whenever it was done, it kind of like puffed over a little bit. So Alexa, start a timer for one hour. Mm, starting Thank you. It's always nice to be appreciative, even if Alexa is who you're talking to. This is pretty.